Okay, I've got a lot of headache from this GPU. Today I'm going to install the PowerColor Radeon RX 7900 XTX Hellhound Edition into my PC. I already had this GPU installed, however I had so many issues about it. For example, I was playing Hunt for 30 minutes, PC it just crashed or more the GPU crashed. I could play one and a half hours of Hunt the GPU crashed, I could edit videos and the G GPU crashed. So it was all very unfortunate and so unfortunate are also my video recordings on mounting or installing this GPU because the video recording is actually dog shit. So this is more a salvage operation and I'll try to show you the best I have. So I apologize for any bad audio and video quality, but here we are. Okay, to the graphics card itself, it has 24 gigabyte GDDR6 of memory on a 384 bit bus, which means about a 20 gigabit per second uh, transfer bandwidth. It has a boost up to 2500 megahertz on the standard profile and 2525 megahertz on the overclocking profile. You can switch between the overclocking profile and the standard profile via a hardware switch. So basically, if you are not happy with one of these BIOS settings, you just click the switch, reboot your PC or, or shut it down beforehand and you're good to go. It has three fans including a 0 dB fan mode, which means uh, up to 60 degrees Celsius. The fans will not be spinning and it has a TDP of 355 watts. Required is a PCI Express 4.0 X16 slot on your main board and you need two PCI Express connectors or power. Interesting to say is that my previous card needed three 8-pin PCI Express power connectors where this card only needs two as said before. So it seems to be a bit more efficient than my previous card which was the 6000 series from AMD but a build from Gigabyte. And at this point, I want to give out a huge thank you to Mind Factory, who processed the complete RMA service of my new 7900 XTX so quickly, just in one week after I have suffered all these problems with my previous card. So thank you so much for delivering a new card in that short amount of time. Thank you. Okay, let's get going installing the new card. Before shutting down, make sure to uninstall all leftover GPU and related drivers from your system. For this task, I use the Display Driver Uninstaller Short DDU, and I'll place a link into the description below. After this, disconnect any cables from your PC and make sure to earth yourself. Also, make sure to have all the tools you need prepared. In this case, you probably just need a regular Philips and you're good to go. Replacement is pretty straightforward. Remember, you should be able to remove the old card and install the new card without force. When installing the new card, make sure it makes a little click to have it seated correctly in your PCI Express slot.
As you can see, installing the new GPU is not really rocket science. It is very straightforward. Also, the system booted up normally and I installed the recommended drivers by PowerColor the Adrenaline 22.12.1. Yes, it is very old, but okay, we go with what the vendor tells us to do, okay? After this, I started having as a benchmark with the results shown. In average, I had an FPS of 332.6 with a maximum FPS of 603.4, which is okay, I think. The point of this benchmark was not to compete with anyone, but just to give the card a quick run to make sure it is stable enough after installing the drivers and make sure everything is powered, etc, etc. I did some usual hunt gains after this and I did not experience any crashes. As a summary, I think my previous 7900 XTX was faulty, which is, I guess, just bad luck. Though I have to criticize something on this card, it has an insane amount of coil whining. Anyway, if you like this kind of content somehow, please consider dropping a like or even subscribe to the channel. As of the quality, I will promise to improve. See you on the next one.